Okay, in this Illustrator tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we create this node-based pattern from a square and these uh, circles. The first thing we're going to do is jump into a, a new document uh, and grab the, the rectangle tool. Okay, so fourth tool down on the left-hand side here, and this will allow us to draw out a square that we need. Now, when we are first drawing this, we're going to draw a perfect square. So we're going to hold down Shift, and I've kept my mouse held down as I'm doing this, um, so that I draw a perfect square. Okay, so that's the, the first step here. And the next step we need to swap to the ellipse tool. Okay, and we're gonna zoom in a little here because we wanna create a node that's gonna look proportionally good um, at the edge of this, this square. So we're gonna jump right in at the corner here. And in order to center the circle on the corner, we're gonna hold down Alt and Shift as we draw out. And that will mean that the, the circle that we're drawing centers on that point, okay? so. That looks about the right size. We're going to swap the fill of this to black. So we're going down to the bottom of our toolbar on the left hand side here so that we get this nice uh, kind of solid point at the corner of our square. Then we'll grab the stroke uh, for the edge of that and just turn that to none. Okay, so what we have here at the moment is a square um, and then a node or a circle at the edge of that. And we just need to duplicate that circle once. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm using command and plus and minus to zoom in and out. And I'm going to grab my circle here. I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And then as I move this circle down, I'm going to hold down Shift so that it snaps right into the corner there. OK, so that's the, the first step here. OK, I'm just going to zoom out a little. And I'm going to change the fill of my square here to gray, okay, just so we can kind of get a sense of what's going on. So we'll scroll down in our swatches on the right and grab a light gray. So now I'm going to grab this whole square hold down the Alt key and drag across to the right hand side. Okay, and when I'm dragging, I'm duplicating and holding down Alt to do that. Um, and I wanna get this square to snap to the edge of the other square here. So now we'll grab our other square here and this time we'll duplicate twice. So we'll grab both of them. We'll hold down Alt and then Shift as we duplicate those again to get those into position. Okay, and so we keep doing this until we're, we've created one row of uh, these circles. So we'll hold down Alt again, and this will be the last one we do for this tutorial. Okay, and you can see we're building up this kind of nice uh, node-based pattern here. Okay, I'm going to delete this last square on the right. Okay, just highlight it using the selection tool. And then we're going to duplicate the row. So we'll grab all of this and then duplicate down. Okay and just zoom in to make sure that we're getting a nice kind of match. And I can use the cursor keys to move things up and down to check that things are moving nicely. So I hold down Alt again to duplicate that row. Okay, and you can see it's starting to snap and intersect as I do this. Okay, so this will be good enough to demonstrate what we want to here. So now we're gonna use a tool, um, the lasso tool, to actually make the selections of our individual nodes. So the lasso tool allows us to select and then move either with the cursors okay or with one of the selection tools those points okay so we can grab with the lasso tool one or more points then move to the direct selection tool and then move those points around okay now the interesting th part of this uh, comes when you start to grab a whole bunch of selections and then use the tools like the rotate tool. So if we grab the rotate tool here, you can see we can rotate and edit those individual nodes um, on mass. Okay. And of course, with the rotate tool, we can change the center point where it's rotating around so we can move it down to the bottom right here, for instance, and then we'll actually be pulling our nodes out. So we can kind of start to work some interesting patterns um, into what we're doing. And we can also just play around and do things a bit more freeform. The shortcut for rotate is R. So if we're jumping between the lasso tool and the rotation tool, then Q and R are the tools to, to use. So Q to grab the lasso tool to make a selection and then R to rotate and then Q again and R to rotate. Okay, so you can see that we can quite quickly start moving between these different sections 
And now this is uh, something that's popped up here that is something to watch out for. So if you grab only part of your circle, then you can distort it like this. So I'm just going to take a couple of steps back and reselect that area. So basically what happened there was I'd only selected maybe three of the four points around the edge of that circle. And so it had uh, kind of distorted in a way that I didn't want. Okay, so we can keep going with this and building up a pattern that we want. Okay, so that's how to kind of do the basics of making a selection and then rotating or moving our selection. Okay, and then also the next step that we can kind of do here to kind of build this pattern up is to actually um, change the, the fill color of some of these sections. Okay, now we could change them individually or we could make select them on mass. So to change the, this selection on mass, we're gonna use the magic wand tool, select that, and then we can change the fill to whatever we want. Okay, so that's how to create a node-based pattern, simple node-based pattern like this. And then um, we can obviously go on and make things more advanced by placing an image layer underneath and then perhaps tracing or copying the pattern of that and adding nodes to a, a graphic design that we're working on. I hope this has been useful. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel and I'm happy to answer your questions. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.